What's up, Buns and future Aorzean players? Now is the perfect time to start Final Fantasy XIV in preparation for 7.0 as new and returning players will be coming back for all the amazing graphic updates, new story, and essentially a brand new adventure on the horizon now that we've concluded Zodiac and Hydaelyn Saga. Here is why you should start playing or return to Final Fantasy XIV now. MSQ for Final Fantasy XIV is very long and linear, meaning you cannot skip around quests or DLCs. You must first complete A Realm Reborn, then Heaven's Ward, then Stormblood, Shadowbringers, and then Endwalker. Content is also blocked behind story quests, so you must progress the story in order to unlock the expansion content. This is the first thing that I think throws off a lot of new players that really don't understand as most other MMOs level sync you so you can do different content and start a bunch of different random side content without understanding the main story. This has its pros and cons, but ultimately this isn't changing anytime soon. So starting Final Fantasy now will give you enough time to get through that story for 7.0. A Realm Reborn is around maybe 100 hours and each expansion is 50 hours after that. That is a long time to be going through MSQ. And if you're only playing two to three hours a day, if that, you're going to take a couple of months, if not close to a year to finish all of the MSQ. A lot of these blue unlocks or side content in any other game might not be as substantial like they are in Final Fantasy XIV. I will go as far to argue that the blue unlocks like Alliance Raid, Instance content, and some collaboration events is really the meat and potatoes of Final Fantasy XIV. Yes, the MSQ is phenomenal and everyone should experience it, but some of my personal favorite pieces of content are only accessible by going through a series of blue quests and unlocks, which means even more time in Final Fantasy XIV that isn't required necessarily in other MMOs. Not even going into depth about that content, which job are you going to play? With 19 playable jobs, you might think, man, I really want to play healer. And that's how I started my journey as a conjurer, which I quickly found out was a very, very slow process for starting the game as healers have only one attack and one damage over time. So it made going through the MSQ a little slower than I personally was looking for. Because of this, this opened up my very narrow-minded playstyle of healer to playing DPS, tank, and even other healers that I didn't think I would enjoy in Final Fantasy XIV. The jobs have completely different playstyle and mindset, which really appealed to me and my constant need to try something new since I don't want to get bored and I tend to pretty easily. You may take four different jobs through the MSQ before you land on a true main job that you default to. Even then, you can actually take two to three jobs comfortably switching back and forth to gain that MSQ experience, which is your highest experience gain when starting fresh. I did DPS for the MSQ quest and healer for the dungeons and trials to make those Q times really quick. Final Fantasy XIV is a 10 year old game with so much content that it's almost overwhelming. Starting now will help you make a dent in the vast world of Eorzea and be able to enjoy 7.0 as it will probably be one of the most well played Final Fantasy expansions in history. Yes, you can job skip and story skip in order to play 7.0 and hey, I don't pay your sub. You can choose to do this, though I think you'll be rather disappointed since you didn't go through the highs and lows of the story that it offers and at least experience it one time. Most importantly, you don't want to rush things. 99% of the people who I personally know said that they story skip through Final Fantasy XIV ended up regretting it. I will say A Realm Reborn is the longest portion of the story coming in at about 100 to 120 hours of game time. So if you've completed that before, you may want to think about just skipping that expansion and that could save you a lot of time for returning players, of course. Ultimately, I know the entire Final Fantasy community and future community members are looking for 7.0 to be one of the best expansions that Final Fantasy has dropped. And I cannot wait for it. And I hope to be your go-to content creator for that. So make sure to hit that like and subscribe button to see all my future guides coming out for Final Fantasy XIV. Thank you to my Bun supporters on Patreon, YouTube, and Discord as your monthly donations really help keep this channel running. And if you like my content and you want to join my community, you can find that Discord link down below.
I have a gigantic library of job guides, Final Fantasy guides, controller guides, and even more in the description box. Or you can just click here.